what's everybody? Game Tuz TV here, and welcome to episode 35 of my Zitut Mag Iron Man series. This episode, we're going to be paying homage to my Rhodes 126 from Scratch series because we're going to have two goals, and we are not going to finish this video until those two goals have come to fruition and they have been completed. So uh, the first goal is going to be 85 to 87 Slayer, uh, about halfway or a little over halfway to 86. That shouldn't take too long. And my second goal is going to be getting myself to 82 Construction. As you guys have known, uh, past episode, I was kind of slowly working towards chopping all the teak logs I would need to turn into planks in order to get 82 Construction. And I will show you guys in the bank just how many I have. But we're gonna start off this episode with a task of yes, I've been looking for these, man. I was just now thinking, like, it's been since 83 Slayer since I've had a Necreal task. Uh, and it's one of my favorite tasks. Necreals and Bloodvelds are my two favorite uh, Slayer tasks, along with Dust Devils, because I use Bracelets of Slaughter, and the experience is just absolutely fantastic. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all of the Teak Logs that I have in my bank. We're almost done uh, as far as chopping them goes. I need about 20,000 to scrape 82. Uh, let's see, where are they? Here. So yeah, we just have about 13.6k, so shouldn't be too, too long. I am collecting them in miscellaneous as well. So yeah, slow progress is being made there, but nonetheless, we will get to that at some point. I don't know if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna get it after I get 87 Slayer. Not quite sure, but regardless, things are going to happen. Also, part of me also wants to do something with this Zenite Shard that we got last episode because I need 90 crafting in order to make the Tormented Bracelet. And like, I have a lot of battle stabs, as you guys can see. Like, yeah, we have 900. I haven't even bought mine for the, well actually, have I bought mine for the day? I don't think I have bought mine for the day today. So yeah, we have a lot of battle stabs and like, I can make myself some orbs and always I can go to the charter ships if I want to get like 80K XP per hour making uh, light orbs, but. I'm rambling hard. Holy shit, this is a two minute intro clip. Let's just get into do soon. It's a slayer, bro. I swear, the reason I love this task is the first drop Avento Seed and a Snapdragon Seed. That is just. Oh, best task in the game for Iron Man. I swear to God, it is. Holy shit, I wasn't even paying attention and I missed 96 hit points. I swear, dude. I seem to miss all of my hit points levels. And they are like the hardest ones to miss in theory because. It's such a slow stat, you see them coming for so long, but man. 96 hit points, 109 combat. That is going to take a long time to get to 97. <clears throat> Congratulations, you've just advanced your defense level. You are now level 79. One level to 80. Can't wait. We didn't miss it. We didn't miss it. That's all that matters. 80 defense. Hell... Yeah. Let's go and get 85 attack. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I really do not know how much experience I get. Okay. Whew. I thought it was gonna be really close because I was like 3k off the level. But there we go. 86 Slayer on the Superior Bloodveld. Didn't get the Imbued Heart. But we got ourselves the Dark Totem, which is cool. Uh, one level off of 87 where we can kill Krakens and get the Trident and I ranted before about how awesome the Trident is um, But yeah, man one level away. That's a lot of Slayer XP. It's gonna take it's gonna take a while, but It's okay because Slayer is probably my favorite skill in the game We are getting farming levels like crazy these days I'm not exactly sure when, ooh, 1900 total. I'm not exactly sure when the next milestone farming level is. I think it, is it 90? There's something cool unlock. Obviously I have all of the herbs. I believe the only thing left for me to unlock is like planting multiple spirit trees, which at 91 I can plant too. Otherwise I think I've pretty much unlocked everything in the game as far as uh, farming goes. But um, you know, it's always nice to, be able to train my my farming. Uh, don't have any calquats, and I'm currently on curries right now, which kind of sucks. But uh, still, it's uh, it's amazing to be able to do uh, farm runs every single day. I was gonna have a uh, Kuskrol casket to accompany my new task, but you know, Jagex had other plans, of course. With the uh, good old Rune Heraldic Shield, gets me every single time. <gasps> Demonic gorillas. Okay. 
Why the fuck am I lagging right now? All right, let's get our Zenite, our fourth Zenite. And uh, yeah, 139 hearts, by the way. Still no Rune Heraldic Shield. Well, 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 would you look at that? 86 Hunter. Can we get some good seeds from these nests to celebrate? Okay, that's okay. Mm, that sucks. That sucks. Eh, I'll take it. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. The fourth and final Zenite shard needed to complete the set of the Zenite jewelry. That is my... Uh, Amulet of Torture. Oh my god, sorry. My brain just went completely blank there. Um... I do need 93 crafting before I can boost up to make it, so that's not something I'm going to be putting into use for a long time, but uh, yeah, that is going to be it for Demonic Gorillas for now. I'm going to go ahead and check my kill count. Um, Demonic Gorillas, I have stated this before, they are amazing, the experience is good, the money is really great, but I personally am pretty lazy. And I find them quite tedious to do, even on Runelight, where it pretty much does all of the thinking for you as far as like keeping track of what attacks they're going to use. I just, I don't really like killing them. The money is fantastic, but I'm lazy, what can I say? Um, and I now have all four Zenite Shards at 1464 kill count. The drop rate is 1 out of 300, so I got a little unlucky, but based on my luck at other places on this account, I am not complaining at all. And, um... Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be killing these in the future as far as Demonic Gorillas. Um, perhaps, maybe, I don't know. Comment below if you guys think I should uh, kill Demonic Gorillas in the future. For now, though, I am going to finish this task in the catacombs where I originally died and lost my hardcore status. Shit. No. The one time I don't record myself opening a cool scroll and I get something good. Oh, I swear to God, I thought I was going to see a pair of fucking Bando's boots. Let's go. Wow, I actually got an emote clue that I can do. I wasn't sure if I had the spine chaps, but I do. I don't remember when I got them, but apparently uh, from like the 10 Supreme kills I did in that one Dagonoth King strip, we were lucky enough to get it. So the dream, ooh, I do not have a Legends cape. We'll have to go get one of those real quick, but the dream lives on. Mr. Fallow, you did us good last time. Two times in a row, please, please. Obby Mall, hell yes. I love you very, very much, my man. Oh no, back to back fallow steps. Oh god, this is gonna be my third fallow step. Oh, I've got a feeling it's gonna be the opposite of the charm. What? Oh, no way, back to back Obby Mall requirements, let's go. Uh. I don't remember where that one is. I think that's, I just have to go to the Sarah God Wars dungeon. That one's easy, and that one's easy. Hell yeah, what step is this? Ooh, step seven, this this is probably gonna be the reward. Fuck yeah. I think it's only appropriate that we open it here in God Wars to enhance. I was gonna say to enhance our chance of getting a unique, but um, I'll take the, the palm trees, that's actually really good, and let me just say this, alright, I'm not going to complain, especially at this stage in my account, 1900 total, I'm not going to complain about any of the rewards I get for Master Clues, I'm just going to be happy that I am actually able to complete a Master Clues, so, um, Zany Page is not needed, of course, but the Palm Trees, that's actually really good. What do I spy with my little eye and Elite Clue Scroll from frickin' Skeletal Wyverns? Are you kidding me? Content for the win. Fury Ornament Kit! Dang it. My first Abyssal Demons task. Exciting stuff. I am going to extend them because they're a pretty darn good task. Um, I said earlier that I would kill Sire once I unlocked a certain thing. And that certain thing is the uh, ornate pool in my house. So I'm not going to do Sire until I get that. And I'm not going to get that until I get 87 Slayer, so we're just going to do this task at the Catacomb Abyssal Demons. Uh, still a pretty good task, though. It's like 1 in the morning, and I'm really tired, but it's okay, because if I can hit, I should be able to get this level. Keyword should. I cannot hit anything. There we go. 
82 attack and my 110 combat, I am cool. Heh, 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 heh. Abyssal whip number two, and I'm like less than 200 kill count, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Um, 179 kill count, and we got our second Abyssal Whip. How useful is that? Not at all, but once we get a Kraken Tentacle, I guess perhaps it'll be somewhat useful. I just started streaming, so let's see if I can get some RNG. Ooh, more Ancient Plate Legs. I think I already have those. Okay. And Dust Devils. Yes, I love that task. I'm happy. I just finished a uh, Fossil Island Wyverns task, and I was lucky enough to get a drop from the Ancient Wyverns. I decided to kill those, and they're actually um, they're quite good, to be honest. Like um, they're a lot harder to kill than like the Taloned and the uh, the other like lower level Wyverns, but the drops are like really really good. And uh, I actually extended them, oddly enough, because I, they went from being blocked. To unblocked and now I'm probably going to kill them with bracelets of slaughter and extended uh, at the ancient wyverns because the drops are, are just really good and uh, I cannot wait to um, you know get these giant seaweed because I need all of the crafting XP I can get um, I'm not sure if I'm going to go to the charter ships in order to get 90 once I get my trident because I probably am going to head to Zora as soon as I get my trident and obviously at 90 crafting I'll be able to make the Tormentor bracelet with one of my Zenite shards that I have in my bank. Uh, but once again that's kind of far down the road and we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. For now I am just going to collect my sexy task of hopefully something good because we are mm, pretty close. Not really but we're like a little over halfway to 87 Slayer. No, I feel so bad boy. I got 83 attack and I didn't record it. By the way, for those of you guys wondering what task I got at the end of the last clip, I almost said last episode, uh, it was this task, which is Fire Giants, and um, yeah, it is, it, it's not very good. I have a decision to make. I'm pretty sure I've went back and forth with this task before. Um, I blocked it, and then I think I unblocked it, because I was like, what am I going to use my anti-fires on? But 51? Like, Jesus! And it's not like I'm going to not use anti-fires when I'm killing Vorkath, and I plan to kill a lot of Vorkaths, so... I th I think I'm, I'm going to... I'm lagging. I think I'm going to definitively block Iron Dragons. I, I, I think I am. <laughs> Watch, and like... An episode or two, I'm probably going to be like, why did I block Iron Dragons? They're so good. But I can honestly say they're a pretty shit task. So, they're blocked. Awesome. I have a lot of points too. So, what will follow that? Ooh, fun. The conflict. I really want to try out Krill Tatsarath, but we're very close to 87 Slayer. And I want to get that as soon as possible. Uh, I think what I am going to do is use some of my Dark Totems at Skatizo. I think I have four of them. So we'll be doing some clue scrolls. Hopefully we can get that Skotos pet and uh, Rune Heraldic Shield. Maybe an Elite Clue Scroll. Give me that Fury Ornament Kit. Let's go. Clue Scroll Casket number one. As you can see, the uh, Skatizo loot was pretty uneventful. I want to see what my kill count is. I believe I just did that. 14. Okay, so I, I thought I killed more, but... Let's see what we get. That is probably one of the most average hard clue loots I've ever seen. Better luck next time. I don't know about you guys, but I smell a freshly minted Skotos. Or an Elite Clue. One of those two. Yep. I love it. I love it. I love it. Alright. Let's go with hard clue class. Ooh, Master Clue and Armadale Page 2. Okay, since there's a 1 in 5 chance of getting a Master Clue from the Elite, I'm actually going to try and do this Master Clue first before I open the Elite. Um, oh fuck, show this to Sherlock. Alright, well, we might be opening this very soon because he's probably going to fuck me over and give me something I can't do. We've been blessed. Sherlock didn't fuck us over, and I can do this. 
God damn it, it was only a matter of time. Step four. Smith Arunite Medhelm. Goodbye. Can we get another one? Oh my god, what are you fucking at? Three dragon necklaces! What the frickin' frack? Alright. Joral time. This guy, bro. This time it was on the charm step, the third one. Mine a piece of runite while sporting the finest mining gear. You can go fuck yourself if you think I'm about to go grind 10 mining levels and get full prospector. No thank you, not today. Will we get something special? No. The last Katizo kill, what are we gonna get? Will we end it on a bang or will we end it on a bust? We end it on a bust. Dang it. We're gonna open it in the wilderness for good luck. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Jesus. Oh my, I have to do mornings in part two for that. Man, that's really, really frustrating and annoying because it's something that I can so easily do. And the other two are uh, very doable steps. Oh man. I'm pretty sure I have all of the requirements to do Morning's End Part 2. I have to do Morning's End Part 1, which is whatever. That's like two hours-ish of questing that I don't really want to do. But I think um, I think I'm going to put it on the back burner for now. We're just going to keep this master clue in the bank. Uh, I do have myself five ecumenical keys. And since I got a Greater Demon's task, I can kill Krill. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use five of my ecumenical keys. I'm going to see how many um, boss kills I can get. Uh, Zami is a pretty easy solo boss, so it wouldn't surprise me if I could get more than one kill per trip. But, uh, you know, I am extremely lucky on this account, so... I'm not going and expecting to get anything, because if I expect to get something, I'm going to be disappointed. I'm just going to be happy with getting one kill each trip. So if I can get five plus... Zami kills, I will be very happy. So without further ado, let's give it a try. Oh my god. Oh, I saw the fucking, the red text and I shit my pants. You motherfucker. <laughs> Oh my god, I saw the red text and I shat my pants. Holy shit, guys. Fucking hell. Wow. I'm not gonna say anything other than the fact that we got a unique. I'm trying to think, is that useful like anywhere though? Not really, but interesting. Alright, well, sorry my reaction's really bad right now. I'm just kind of at a loss. I can't believe that just happened. Alright, so I just finished the last of my Zami kills. We finished at 12 kill counts, so not too bad. Um, using five ecumenical keys. I got a four kill trip, but during that trip I actually died, so I had to waste one of my ecumenical keys. As you can see here... Oh dear, you are dead, which is really fucking frustrating, but uh, I actually held my own pretty well, and I, I quite like it. I am in a crunch to get to 87 Slayer, so I'm not going to be killing any more uh, Zemi bosses on this Greater Demons task, but I think uh, in my future Greater Demons tasks, once I get 87 Slayer and go back to doing Slayer, I will definitely hit up Krill again. Um, you know, of course, we got that Steam Battle Staff at 5 kill count, which is just absolutely absurd. Unfortunately, Steam Battle Staff isn't really used for anything outside of like Lava Rune Crafting. That's some, something I'll ever see myself doing. Um, but still, it's pretty crazy that I got a unique uh, 5 kill count, and I'm not going to complain at all. But um, for now, we go back to doing Slayer, and uh, yeah, pretty close to 87. Wow, this has to be the world's worst birdhouse run. I got three freaking nests. Now watch, I'm going to get like two magic seeds. Okay, I got, I got pretty shit seeds, but damn, that was freaking horrible. So... Anybody want to tell me what the fuck's going on? <laughs> Alright, that's going to propel me to a really good Cusco Reward watch. Oh, I didn't even get to see it. I think I got that, 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 and that. Do I already have a Navy Cavalier? 
I think I do, but let's see. Otherwise, I'm going to be kind of mad because it's going to be another bank space and I don't have very many left. Ooh, I don't have that. Okay, well, it's a new Cavalier. I now have three of them, but it's not the Rune Heraldic Shield, motherfucker. For whatever reason, these servers have been, like, terrible lately, but that doesn't stop me from getting my damn Jad task because I'm just that good at the game. Speaking of being that good at the game, I now have myself a sexy new Jad pet. One of these days, man, it's gonna happen, and I'm look like a fucking genius. We got another Elite Clue Scroll from Skeletal Wyverns. How interesting. We're gonna drop the Master Casket, or the Master Clue, just in case. Ooh, I got a prayer mix from that Barbarian. My luck. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get a Master Clue. Oh, I didn't. What the hell is this? A Monocle? The fuck? I think this is something you can combine with the Top Hat. But I don't have one of those. The only way to get one of those is from Elite Clues. But if that was the same rarity as if you're on a kit, I'm going to be very upset. That level snuck up so fast. I was getting ready to record and it said it was like 2k off the level and then boom, just got it. Damn, 84 attack. One level away from 85. Actually really close to 81 defense, I don't know why. I can't think of, of whenever I've trained defense, but oh well. Um, but once we get to 85, of course, as I said many times before, we will switch over to defense and a quick experience update towards 87. Very, very close. This may be the second to last task I do this episode. We can hope. Random 87 Fletching. How are you doing today, guys? It is me from the future. Ooh, magic shields. Interesting. This should be my last Slayer task of the video. Just under 10k off of 87. Haven't gotten Abbey Specs in a long, long time. But, you know, I'll take whatever. Necreal, nice. I'd say Necreal is probably... Necreal and Kurasks are my two favorite uh, monsters to kill on Slayer Task because they drop really good resources. Obviously, Dust Devils are, like, my third favorite because the XP is really good, but Necreal is, like, oh, the seeds are just amazing, but... We will easily, easily, easily get ourselves a 7 Slayer. And uh, shit, let's just do that now. No! No! Fuck. Auto Retaliate screwed me over. Oh, man. <laughs> shit. So I was trying to kill the Death Spawn because I wanted to um, be able to, to get the message where I'm now able to kill Kraken. Um, because I knew this fucker was going to interrupt the interface, and as I clicked to attack it, for some reason my auto retaliate made me hit back on the neck reel and, and kill it. But I'm pretty sure we at least got the congratulations message on video. If we didn't, then that's a fail, and I missed like the biggest level of my account so far. But yes, 87 Slayer, finally dude, oh my god, that is so good. I can now kill Kraken. I can now get the Kraken Tentacle and the Trident of the Seas. I'm not going to do that this episode though, because uh, I don't know exactly how long this video is because I haven't done really any editing at all. Uh, but I am going to not get a task of Kraken because I don't want to cancel this Necro task because I said before it's like one of my favorites. Uh, I'm going to work towards my second goal that I said at the beginning of this video, which was construction to uh, like 82 or 83. Uh, and if I look in my bank here, I'll go ahead and just deposit everything. You will see that I have pretty much no money, um, and I need money to make all of my teak things into teak logs. And my plan to make money is to out all of my items that I've gotten from I don't remember I think 83 Slayer I'm not exactly sure but uh, basically we have so many rune items there's no way I'm gonna be able to fit them all in my uh, inventory on in one inventory but as you can see we just have a dick load 
of, of things to out here javelin heads rune pieces uh, we also have a ton of battle stabs that I'm going to make uh, basically I'm just gonna have an alk fest so I could try and get everything in my inventory and show you guys what I'm going to alk but I think the easier thing for me to do is just alk everything in my bank and show you guys all of the money that I have afterwards uh from alchemy everything it's gonna take a while to to do all of this because there's just so much shit scattered around and i'm gonna have to charge some unpowered orbs into air orbs in order to stick those onto air battle stabs in order to out them i'm gonna have to do some fucking rune crafting because i have like hardly any nature runes and you're crazy if you think i'm actually gonna buy nature runes because that's stupid because i'd rather rune craft them because i have enough pure essence to do so and i need to get 77 rune crafting in the long run and holy shit i'm talking really hard really hard fuck i don't know it's like 1 30 in the morning i'm really happy i just got 87 slayer i'm on a bit of a high right now but let's do some alking and let's make some fucking money get some mage xp some crafting xp and some agility xp i don't know we might not do agility while we out we'll do something i know some of you guys are probably going to be pretty mad and disappointed that i'm uh not doing any agility and i did it for about 500 or maybe a thousand alks but then i got really bored um and really lazy so but there's 94 magic from Alking, and it didn't even give me the notification that not only can I cast Vengeance, but I can also cast Ice Barrage. And I'm trying to think about whether or not I'll actually use Ice Barrage, because whenever you're doing tasks like Necreals and Dust Devils, you can alternatively use Ice Barrage instead of Ice Burst. And I'm thinking once I start doing Barrows, I'm going to get a lot of Blood Runes, but if I'm correct... With Burst, you only use two death runes per cast, and with Barrage, you use four. It's not a problem using the blood runes with Barrage, but death runes are pretty precious, so I think I'm just going to use Burst, but still, really, really big level there. Uh, I believe that's a max hit with my Trident, as well as, uh, you know, Vengeance being a uh, pretty nice uh, spell to use through some facets of PVM, like... Calphite Queen and Zora and so on and so forth, uh, but I don't think I'll be using it for a little bit. But regardless, 94 magic, and uh, you know I probably would get uh, an agility level, but you know I think I'm just going to do agility or not agility, but alking the lazy way for the rest of the bit. Here it is, my very last high alk, and I finished wow with exactly 2,000 nature runes. And a total of 32.79 mil. Definitely the highest cash stack I believe I've ever had on this account. And I can finally start on construction. Because between runecrafting the nature runes and just alchemy. Whoa, that was weird. I had like a... I don't even know what that was. It was like my voice just gave out. But anyway, as I was saying, between rune crafting the nature runes and alking, it's been like a whole day, and I'm finally done and excited to move on to something else. So I have myself a total of uh, just about 19,000 teak logs. I collected a, a few more in miscellanea since I last checked, and that should easily get me to 82. It might get me to 83, not quite sure. Um, but what I'm going to do now is go ahead and go through the process of turning these all into planks. I'm not exactly sure how much money I'm going to uh, spend. I believe it's 500 GP per log. So I can go ahead and, I guess, calculate that. So if I do 18.985 times 500, it'll cost me yeah, 9.5 mil. So we're going to go ahead and turn these into planks. Shouldn't take too long. And then we will finally begin training the stat. Exciting stuff. It took a couple hours of elbow grease, but once we go to the sawmill with these last inventory of teak logs, we should have all of our planks that we will need to train our construction, 19,000 teak and about 800 oak and mahogany respectively. Should get me to 83. Um, and for those wondering, I was 79 or 71, but I used my long bones and I actually managed to get a whole level, which is uh, actually quite nice. I really like that update. You get like 5k XP per bone. But regardless, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to sweat out 83 construction. 
Yay! All of my pain and suffering is over. I don't have to touch this skill ever again unless I decide on going for a max cape in which, oh god, I don't even want to think about that because it was a struggle to max my main and maxing an Iron Man is a lot harder and a lot grindier. 83 construction. Yes, I can now get a plus five boost and use a crystal saw to upgrade this bad little pool of revitalization into the ornate rejuvenation pool. And that is going to be so, so exciting because it's just so good. I finally completed both of the goals that I set out to complete this episode. Therefore, I am uh, going to wrap it up here because uh, it's a pretty long video and I haven't uploaded on my channel in a long, long time. Something I do want to let you guys know, um, I am currently going to be moving out of my parents' house. So, uh, you know, uploads throughout the rest of the next two weeks or so, they might be a little sporadic uh, to just not even happening at all because on top of moving out of my parents' house, I'm also going to be starting a full-time job uh, at the beginning part of July. So, um, yeah, I'm a little uncertain as to how much I'm going to be able to play the game, let alone actually record. I am going to try and stream a lot more, so um, you know, keep your eyes peeled on my Twitch. It is in the description. Um, but I think that's all I have to say. 87 Slayer and 83 Construction. Two of the sexiest stats on my account, I may say if my so myself. Oh my god, I just messed that up. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys soon, hopefully, with episode 36.